And next up, it's the unbeaten Ramla Ali, who's been enjoying boxing on the big stages in America recently. From refugee to model, activist, and now unbeaten professional, the super bantamweight makes her first appearance at the O2 as she faces Argentina's Agustina Rojas. <laughs> Well, the ovation during the introductions and as Ramla Ali made her way to the ring, an indication of just how big this story could become. If she can build on the inspiration that she's been, as Laura was saying, from refugee to activist to model and to professional boxer. Building on the five fight experience. Went to the Olympic Games last year as Somalia's first ever representative in Olympic boxing. Professionals now allowed into the Olympic Games, of course, and that was after three professional fights in her career. And we're seeing as she backs away that she's fairly limited Ramla Ali in defence. And that will be built fight by fight, camp by camp, by the famed, highly respected Manny Robles in her corner. Alongside me for this one, the former world super featherweight champion, Barry Jones. And Barry, she's been trying to get to work with that efficient left jab in the early stages. Yeah, she has, and we always know that she's you know, she's got good movement and a good and a good jab from the alley. I think with Manny Robles, she's trying to get her to sit down a little bit more on her punches, a bit more weight, a little bit of a step behind that jab, just to make Rojas feel the power. Just has to remember there, Ali, really good work from her there. Double jab, left hand, just to take that little pivot to get out of out the, out the way. So Rose can hold on and certainly Rose can fire back. Nice left hand to the body, followed by a right hand also to the body from Ali, trying to vary the line of attack towards the end of the opening round. Lovely combination there from Ali. Double again, double jab, left hand to finish the round. Good work. Manny Robles more than happy in the corner. Manny who's looked after the likes of Andy Ruiz Jr. on the night at Madison Square Garden when Ruiz Jr. caused that colossal upset against Anthony Joshua back in June of 2019. And one of Ramla Ali's fights in the United States, one of three of them was in Madison Square Garden, albeit in the feet theatre beneath the main room. Punch you back with the jab in retreat there, and there was no threat. And I think she's encouraging Rojas to come forward there, Ali. She's better off just getting a little, little spin on the front foot when she throws that jab. She just gives it a little bit of a different angle of an exit. A minute gone in the second round, and last time out, it was in the second round that Rama Ali scored her only inside the distance win in that unblemished record so far of five. Ali leading off with the right hand, trying to change the line of attack. But Rojas has never been stopped in her seven-fight professional career and is showing the signs of being a pretty effective spoiler over the course of the first four minutes. Well, what's she doing, Rojas? She's just firing back every time she gets hit, so that just stunts the attack there in the valley. She can't really work off any sort of success she's having at the minute. Manny Robles in the corner, Barry, very similar with his instructions to what you were saying about Ramla Ali holding her feet in those exchanges, admiring her work, and there immediately she steps off after throwing her shots. Yeah, yeah I think people don't realise how important it is. You know, what you do after the punch is not quite as, but almost as important as, what, as throwing the punch itself. You don't want to get hit with anything, and you've got to be in the right position to fire back in a safe place. And where, where Robas is asking for the uppercut, 
she can throw that right now, but her feet are in opposition right. She's again a little bit of a little bit of an angle, a little bit of a turn before she gets that a shot into play. The right hand there from Rojas. Take it round by round was the instruction from Manny Robles. Break her down, punch by punch, attack by attack. Rojas trying to cover up as she makes her way forward with very little in the way of threat, it has to be said. Nice right hand, left hook combination from Ali as her fans here, the 500 of them that she was talking about in that interview before the fight. Particularly good work with the left hand jab and the follow up right hand as well. Just copy the punches, no need to make it too complicated. I mean, she didn't bring that front foot too close to the target. She's having all the success with those long shots. Certainly that right hand. If she doesn't lean forward too much and turns from the waist, yeah, like that's a lovely shot. Lovely work there again from Ali, and again that with the left hook. Really warming into this contest because even these light-handed attacks from Rojas in the first round in particular were leaving Ali just slightly flustered. But now she's much more in control, much more composed and really working behind those straight shots and then whipping again that left hand into the body. I would just say for Ali though that she's boxing really well. She's constantly moving to her right, which is fine, but it gives her space to throw that right hand. But a better fighter than Rojas will read that and set the trap for that for that long left hook from out the distance. So sometimes just change direction, keep the opponent constantly thinking. Right combination has worked particularly well. And a slick rule by the referee after the left hook ran home as well at the end of that three punch combination. Good right hand again from Ali at the end of this, the sixth round. Good timing as Rojas rushes forward without much signs behind her attack. Because Rojas is a little bit loose for the shots. When she decides to come forward, Ali, because she has a straight, correct jab, she's always going to beat her to the punch every time. And that's really all she has to do. Oh, that's good left hook there from Ali. That's all she has to do. Take that step back with the front, with the back foot. Keep the front foot there. Throw that left hand out when you ask him forward. These are good shots from Ali. Some of the best and heaviest of the contest so far. Showing an impressive work rate so far. And that endurance and the speed staying with her through into the penultimate round. Timing Rojas with that dipping right hand. It's been so successful time and again across the opening seven rounds. And she hasn't really shortened the gap in this song, then she's far more effective with that long right hand here, Ali. Rojas hitting thin air constantly there again. Once again, not holding her feet, just stepping back and giving herself room to avoid anything coming back at her from Rojas, but also giving her the opportunity to reset and to go again. Give it 100%, can this be a showcase finish then for Ramla Ali in only her sixth professional contest? And a useful eight round experience as Rojas gets on the front foot. One last salvo from the Argentine. He's had only sparing success, much the cleaner punching has come from Ali. But Rojas trying to make a nuisance of herself now in the opening minute of the eighth and final round. And this is where not constantly moving to the right would work for Ali. If she just pivots on that front foot to the left, when Ali fires forward, she's, a, she's on the blind side of her. Ali got to go looking for her, uh, Rojas got to go looking for her, she gets tired. Then, then all that exuberance of, of that effort wanes and then you can go to work again. Ramon Ali returning to the UK after three successive wins in the United States, in Vegas, in New York, and most recently 
an inside the distance win in Los Angeles. This time picking up punches beautifully for most of the contest. That was a lovely three punch combination for Ali. One, two upstairs and dipping down the left into the body. Some good variety from Ali built behind the simple basics. The left hand, the right hand, as she showed there, albeit out of distance on that occasion, but it's been so effective. Lovely shift of the shoulders there, pushing through that right hand. Ramler Ali. And again, leaning in with that right hand, picking the spot. There you go with the shout from Manny Robles in the corner. Rojas trying to the end, but second best all the way through from the first bell to the last. Ladies and gentlemen, after eight rounds of boxing here at the O2, we go to referee Chaz Coakley's scorecard. It reads 80 to 72 for your winner. She's still undefeated. Right.